Good evening everyone, time for another Bitcoin report. I finally made it past newbie status at the Bitcoin forum and uh, they have a restriction because of so much spamming that they've been getting. You have to make five posts and be logged on for four hours. So I am now a junior member and I can post so I'm going to go ahead to the main forum and post this update. This is probably going to be two parts because I have a lot to cover. I wanted to first jump to my Bitcoin account here and you can see that someone donated to me a quarter of a Bitcoin. I really appreciate all the donations and these are all the Bitcoins I have to my name so I'm not a pump and dumper. I'm what you would call a late adopter. So just interested in it. Uh, the more I explore it, the more interesting it seems. So there's a lot of critics and as I've examined the critics arguments, none of them really hold water arguments about how it's a Ponzi scheme. No, it's not really a Ponzi scheme or how it's a pump and dump well there's a lot of early adopters getting out but there's a lot of new adopters coming in so I don't think it's a pump and dump and the latest is that it is a fiat currency well it's actually not it's the furthest thing from fiat because fiat means of course government mandated that's what the word fiat means so it's actually the polar opposite of a fiat currency so Anyway, I want to jump over to my BTC Guild account, and I've been running my little 10 mega hashes a second on my onboard GPU, which is pretty lame. So you can see I have about, add these together, I may have almost. 0.007 which would be almost one cent which is the smallest amount you can withdraw so I'm really knocking it out here on my BTC Guild account so I want to jump over to my Bitcoin Plus account and you can see that I have over there about almost a Bitcoin cent there as well I wanted to thank all the people who have clicked on the link and generated payouts for me. If I click on this link and show the generated payouts, there's a number of people who are mining bitcoins for me. It's it's uh, just with the link that's on my page. It's not really serious mining or anything because it's probably all CPU based, but uh, it's kind of fun. So if you notice that uh, the bitcoin payout there is down to 553 which if we go back it was at 8549 I'm not sure if that's because the difficulty went up or if the, they just changed that so anyway I have 103 payouts and I don't I think I've maybe done 20 or 30 of them myself so I want to thank everybody who generated coins for me I appreciate that now, jumping over to a couple of sites that I discovered, and the first one is about mining, and I found this very useful because I'm at the point where I'm researching mining, and this site, actually what it does is it has calculations based on the break-even days of the particular GPU and it lists all of the Radeon GPUs and then all of the NVIDIA GPUs and with just a cursory look you can see that uh, NVIDIA is definitely not the way to go if you're wanting to mine bitcoins. You definitely want to go with the Radeon cards and I did a lot of pricing, I did a lot of checking, and just based on the break-even days that you have here, the actually the best card for the money 
is this 6790, which generates 220 mega hashes per second. So that's not the highest, but if you look at the price of the card, it's only about 140 bucks, as opposed to this super high-end card, the 6990, and that card is very expensive, but as you can see, it generates 670 um, mega hashes a second. So that's the best card. So I went around and did a lot of pricing, and I'm not the most sophisticated Linux user, so I ended up settling on a site here, and I actually ordered a rig just to play around with. It is a... Athlon 2 with 2 gigs of RAM and a 500 meg hard drive, 700 watt power supply, running Ubuntu 10.10, and I ordered it with two of the 6970 cards that, according to his estimate, it should put out 730 mega hashes per second. So, the other site that I discovered is one that allows you to calculate what your projected output would be and that's the Bitcoin mining profitability calculator I'm not really doing this for profitability worst case scenario I end up with a really good gaming machine best case scenario the price of bitcoins goes up and it still is profitable but with the difficulty rising as it is that may not be the case so anyway, I plugged in all the numbers based on what I was going to do. You can see I've got the 730 mega hashes in there and it's based on three month period and the price of the hardware and the electricity rate and the power consumption. And then uh, the, of course the Bitcoin block, that's a standard 50 is where it's currently at. The conversion rate is the dollar value of bit current dollar value of bitcoins which by the way I want to check that right now real quick and just go straight to the Mt. Gox feed it's 19.5 on the last trade so I put in 20 and that gives a revenue for the three months of fifteen hundred and twenty eight dollars minus the power cost is thirteen forty four so that gives a break-even day of where the machine and the power cost used up pay for themselves in 95 days. So I ran a lot of calculations on that and I didn't decide to go with the high-end box that they have here. They actually have a super high-end box that is a professional rig and if you choose that box and then put three 6990s in it and that's the top card those are about seven hundred dollar cards though you can see the cost of that rig is thirty eight hundred dollars for the rig now it puts out 2010 mega hashes with the three cards so but you have to have a 1200 watt power supply so if you remember my calculated days to pay off is at 95 days so let's put that one in real quick and see how it does so that would be 201 and then the power is going to change what was the power it was 1200 so we'll put the power up to 1200 the it may not use all that power and then we'll just recalculate based on that and see if the days change. So based on the top end rig, then it says the hardware to break even is, is 32 days, but I didn't change the price. <laughs> so that's why that looks so good. So it's $37.99 for that box and then recalculate. So that one's 89 days. So they're pretty close. I figured I'd just go with the cheaper model with two cards just to play around and just to see what I get. Sort of fun thing. 
and we'll see how it goes. I'll go ahead and link this site and the other site that I had and I wanted to cover one more topic but I don't seem to have that so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I am going to post now in the Bitcoin dis discussion thread because I have access to post new topics. So again, I wanted to thank all the contributors to my channel and I'm trying to grow this channel. The reason why I chose to start this channel, some of you know that I my main channel is a silver channel and I've been into silver for a long time, but the more I've investigated this Bitcoin thing, the more promising it seems to me. And there are a tremendous number of detractors even in the silver community but when I did a search of Bitcoin and what kind of coverage there was on YouTube it was really lacking to say the least so hopefully I can make this channel a success and get a lot of subscribers who are Bitcoin followers and cover the latest news I didn't cover anything on the market today I'll probably cover that next we're pretty flat around 19 $20, and we'll talk to you next time.